Hi guys, today I am going to reveal a simple technique that I use to create high performing reels for brands and creators. It's fast, repeatable and it works every single time. If you are a beginner, this video will take your sound design to a next level. Let's have a quick look at what we are going to create today. Looks nice right? Usually whenever I do sound design for reels, I usually split it into 3 pieces. Firstly I focus on motion sounds, then the foley sounds and finally the emotional sounds. In this video we are going to do something different. We are only going to focus on the movements and start applying effects in our timeline. Let's get started. So firstly over here in Premiere, see, we have this gear shifting. For that, let's add the gear sound. By the way, I have provided all these assets to you in the description. Please download them so that you can follow alongside me. Let's drag and drop it over here. Let's zoom in. Nice. So we'll fade it a bit at the beginning. Okay. Looks good. So at the beginning, we also want to capture the attention of the audience. So we'll also add the swoosh. So let's quickly search for it. Drag and drop it over here. Let's trim it from the beginning. Also reduce the volume. From over here in the presets, you can choose any of the presets. For now, I'm just going to choose make distance. Let's again fade it a bit. Let's reduce the volume. Nice. Now let's proceed. When it's going to the right, I want to add a build up tension. For that, we'll add the swoosh riser. Let me show you how to do that. This is the one. Come to the left. Let's drag and drop it over here. Let's see here first. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. We want a tension at this point, not over here. So we'll trim it on the left. Let's take it over here. Perfect. So we'll reduce the volume. Again, fade it a bit. It's looking nice, right? Let's proceed. Now when this transition is happening, it's a glitch animation, right? So we'll add the glitch sound. See so this, it's very easy. You just need to become a very good observer. See over here, a glitch happened. So we'll add the glitch sound as well as the camera flash sound. So firstly, let's search for glitch. Let's place it over here. We hear this. Okay, this is too much. Let's cut it. Let's decrease the volume as well. Okay. Let's again trim it over here. Nice. Perfect. So now we are going to add one more effect over here. This is called an effect stacking. So let's search for camera flash. Let's keep it over here. First, let me reduce the volume as it will be too loud. Okay. Okay, no, it will be little there. Nice. Okay, I think this is still too loud. Maybe keep it around minus 50. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Okay, now when it's going up, let's again add the swish. Every movement should be captured. Right now, as it's going up, let's add the swoosh. Again, we'll just keep the simple swoosh. Okay, somewhere over here. Let's cut this one. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, it should be earlier. Okay. In fact, we'll do one thing. Let's play around with the speed. So press on Command and R. This will open up the duration. Keep the duration at 75%. Okay, let's see. Okay, no. Reduce it. Let's fade it a bit. Nice. Okay. Let's see next. See now when this transition is happening from white to black, let's add a camera shutter effect. So for that, again, we have the camera shutter. Let's keep it over here. Let's trim it. This effect goes very well when you want to do any sort of transitions. See over here. Let me again reduce the volume. Okay, no. It may be a little ahead. Nice. Perfect. Now let's observe what's happening next in our reel. Here is icons coming up. And then these icons of the creators. So for this, I want this to be impactful. And then it's a the reverse effect. So let me show you how we're going to add effects in this case. So firstly, we'll add the repulsor. Keep it over here. It's an awesome sound effect. Let's just reduce the sound because it's too loud sometimes. Let's see. Perfect. Now, see it acts like a riser. It's very impactful. Okay, maybe a little ahead. Perfect. Now at this exact point, we'll also add the bush head. Let's search for this. Okay, let's fade it. Reduce the volume. Let's see. Perfect. Let me again hear this. Nice. And now as everything is shifting to the left, we'll also add the swoosh. Again, the same one. Just hold on option and shift it to the left. Okay, I don't think we need to fade this. Just trim it. Okay, now. Maybe somewhere over here. Nice. Now let's have a look at the next scene. For this PC. Uh, okay. So we have some text coming in. See like this. So for that, firstly, when this movement is happening, let's add a smooth whoosh. Whenever you have this kind of zoom ins, right? At that time, the smooth whoosh works perfectly. So I will show you in a second. See, just this one. Just keep it over here. Let's see. Nice. Reduce the volume. Maybe like fade it a bit. Nice. 
and now when these words are coming in one by one, we'll also add a sound effect for them. We'll use a third sound, so it will sound like tsh, 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 like this. I'll show you. See this one? Just drag and drop it over here. Let's go to the right. Now, okay, this is obviously this is too loud. Keep it very soft. Maybe around minus 20 is also fine. Let's hear this. Maybe somewhere over here. Okay, let's take a copy of this. Okay, shift to the right. You can again place one over here. I will have to do one more thing. I will show you in a second. Firstly, let's place this. Okay, let me hear this. Okay. Now see, we want the sound effects, the first, second and third, to keep on reducing in volume. So for the first one, so just click on this. So we'll keep it around minus 10. Okay, or maybe around minus 12. The second one can be around minus 18. And the third one can be minus 22. So see. Nice. I think this can be lower. I'll keep it around 15, 16. Let's see. Nice. Perfect. Let's move on. Next, we will transition. See, suddenly the scene is getting cut. So at this point, we'll quickly add a film camera effect. So just go over here, search for film. This one, the film camera shot. Trim it. Okay, let me hear this. Perfect. Next, when we have this animation of editing, we'll add the gear sound. The one which you added earlier. See, let's just add gear fast. Keep it over here. Okay. Okay, now little ahead. Nice. Now let's have a look what's happening next. See, the screen is getting split. So for that, to give it a realistic effect, we are going to add a door opening sound. Okay. So we'll do one thing. Just search for door. Keep it over here. Let me hear this. Okay. No, little earlier. Reduce the volume. From over here, I'm just going to keep it as make close up. Maybe I'll just try to play around it a bit. Let's see somewhere over here. Okay, so we'll reduce the volume definitely. Nice. Looking great, right? But see, there's something missing. When the scene is happening, right? There's no build-up tension. To build that and to build an anticipation for what is going to happen next, let's add the riser. So we'll do one thing. Over here, right click, add a track. Okay. Over here, we're going to add the riser. See, so this riser will ideally end over here. So that after this point, we'll have this animation see the one which is starting out here so let's go over here let's add the riser we'll add cinematic riser okay just place it over here it is the volume let me hear this nice looks awesome right if you want to play around with it maybe you can just adjust it a little bit left or right okay i think this was fine now see at the exact same time when the riser is ending this next scene is zooming in so we want to add few more effects over here so the first one being heavy swoosh search for heavy Okay, let me get this. Nice. So we'll just release the volume. Perfect. And then for this text, let's add the typing effect. Let's see. Yeah, keyboard type. Let me see here this. Okay, it's very long. So we'll just cut it over here. Go to the right. Let me see. Okay. Let's trim it. Okay. We'll keep it over here at 40 seconds. I can fade it on the left. Okay, perfect. Maybe somewhere over here. Let's reduce the volume. I think this is too long. We'll keep it like this. Nice. I want to see this scene one more time. Perfect. This way, just by looking at the motion and whatever is happening on the screen, we have perfectly placed our sound effects. Again, there is no exact science to it. It's just what you feel and what you want your viewers to feel. Let's have a quick look at what you have created today. Awesome. That's it guys, I really hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you loved the content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next time.